another quick video here before I go for the day. Uh, I constantly hear about this from everybody. Uh, uh, yes, it absolutely will. So people are always saying how cool Vim is because of pain splitting. And they use it to chop up their screen. And I'm not going to even get into how to do that. You guys can go do it if you learn if you want. You actually sort of have to learn it if you're going to do help. So like if you look for the help within Vim and you get stuck on something, you have to be able to close that pain out and go back to the other one. And so you can't escape learning it if you're learning Vim. Vim. All right. Not VI. So there's a number of reasons not to learn pain splitting. In fact, you don't ever need to learn pain splitting. I can't remember how to do it. I never use it. I haven't used it in 25, 30 years. And it's not because I'm an old guy. Let me tell you why. It's not practical. When you split using Vim, you are tied to using Vim for your screen management. And that is not what Vim is for. Vim is not meant to manage your pains, to manage your screens. What is? Tmux, screen. There's a number of other utilities that are already designed to manage your screen real estate for you, and they work anywhere. They work anywhere, they work on everything, they split the screen, and they have methods for copying and pasting between two different applications, not to mention between an applic uh, a Vim editing session and your command line. I use this constantly instead of my mouse when you don't have a mouse. So getting good with Tmux is far more important than learning how to split the pain with Vim. In fact, I would strongly encourage you to never learn how to do it because you don't need it. And I'm going to demonstrate. So, uh, uh, so for example, uh, for another thing too is, that, and I agree with Primegion on this particular point, I, I find myself using pains, using, uh, using uh, pain splitting less and less these days and using window splitting, which is a separate video about screen and, and Tmux that we'll do. But assuming you know what those things are, then you already know what can be done there. So let's say uh, I'm going to do links. Like uh, I want to look up something. I want to like say, uh, how do I do hello world in shell? And I'm going to go look on the internet and I'm going to go say, here it is. Uh, let's go look at it, right? So, so how do I do hello world in shell? I'm looking down for some code. Uh, it's probably not going to show me because it's so stinking easy. I'm just trying to make a point here. <laughs> it's not even going to be here, is it? Yeah, I mean, so I'm trying to, what, what, what would we want to copy over from here? Uh, so, okay, so there we go. There, here are some right here. So this, I'm using my mouse for now, and you can use your mouse if you want and just copy and paste it. So you could go, okay, echo hello world. So copy, come over to this other window uh, and paste, right? And that works. But if you learn to use Tmux, you can do the same thing from here. So you can say, uh, I can do control A, le uh, what is it? Left, right bracket, you can go down to here. You can hit space to start it. You go over here, or you, you can use positioning stuff with VI, I'm not, but you can do that. Hit enter, then I can switch back over here and I can do uh, right bracket and I can paste it and hit enter. I just copy and paste it between two applications that have nothing to do with VI or Vim. And if you learn VI and you're maybe you've got a container running over here, right? So maybe you're doing an editing session. Uh, I don't know, you're running on BusyBox and you're, you're, edit, you're, you're editing some session over here. Temp foo and like something over here. Okay, not only could you not split this, the VI pane at all because it's VI, <laughs> but you can't get that short of using your mouse. And by the way, sometimes you have like multiple lines of stuff, right? And you know, you got all this stuff here and I wanna copy that over, right? Well, the mouse is not the best thing for that. Not particularly not here, right? And, and so then you'll go up to the top and you'll say, okay, I want to copy it. So this is also kind of a problem, but I can zoom in on it. So I zoom in on it uh, and then in Tmux and you can't do this with panes and you're going to go, I'm going to select this. I'm going to hit space. I'm going to go grab it all. I'm gonna hit enter. I'm going to unzoom. Uh, I'm going to go over here. I'm gonna, this is a completely separate file on a separate system and I'm going to go paste it and don't forget to uh, insert paste, which we'll talk about some other day. And now I can control A, bam, and now I've got it pasted there. I hadn't even touched my mouse. My fingers haven't even left home row. That's far better than learning how to split with, with Vim. 
And that ap applies across systems, across network boundaries, across everything else. All right. So that's the end of that video. <laughs>